America, I will still be a Ugandan American. That's the reason I'm standing here in front of CNN, that for once, CNN begin reporting the right thing, begin giving the world the right information, begin writing the, begin writing the right information about Uganda. We have a dictator who is carrying out genocide. This very dictator currently sponsored the genocide that happened in Rwanda in, the, in 1994. The very genocide that was carried out in Rwanda is being carried out in Uganda right now. The very genocide that was carried out in Rwanda sponsored by Museveni, who was by then the president of Uganda, is the very genocide being carried out in Uganda. And I'm so sorry to say that it is being sponsored by our mighty American president, either directly or indirectly, or whether you know or you don't know. But the matter you are sending to Uganda is not being intended to do what it is supposed to do. It is being used to murder. Ugandans. Billions of tax, billions of dollars being sent to Uganda are being used to kill innocent Karamoja because of the gold, because of the minerals. Karamoja are not interested in the minerals. If you want to come for the mineral, come and take the miracle, but the mineral, but do not kill Karamoja. They don't deserve to be killed. Americans, we are here. I believe we are standing in the right place, which is CNN. CNN, you are the fourth estate in the world. And we believe, and we understand, and we pray, and we advocate, and we request that instead of rubbing shoulders with the dictators, please come out and write the right, give people the right information. People ought to know what is exactly happening in Uganda. Ugandans are being murdered every single day in the thousands, if not millions. Ugandans are being taken to the Saudi Arabia, to the Asians, and they are being sold, their, their organs are being sold by the American, by the Ugandan government. The business is being sponsored by the, by the president and his family. This very man who is selling his own people and they are being extracting organs from them, you are the one sponsoring him. You sponsor him every day. We've written emails, we've written letters, we've called you, we've spoken to you, we've alerted you. But every now and then, America keeps on sponsoring this dictator who has been in power for the past 40 years. And right now, he's trying to bring his son, who is in charge of murdering innocent Ugandans. America, we are crying to you. Help Ugandans. Stop, stop sponsoring their genocide. Stop sponsoring their genocide. Stop sponsoring the killing of innocent Ugandans. Ugandans don't deserve to die. They deserve a decent life like all of you here. They deserve good education like you. They deserve good health like you. They deserve a decent meal every day like all of you do. But what happens to the dictator in Uganda? He comes and tells them if they can't afford bread, they can eat cassava. Even the cassava he grabs and steals their land. They have nowhere to get the cassava. He tells them to eat. His family right now is demanding billions and billions of dollars to feed his family. But the Ugandans who pay the taxes cannot afford even a bread for a day. Surviving for a day in Uganda is right now by miracle. If you survive today, you are not sure of tomorrow. Ugandans are human beings. We are requesting CNN. The reporters you have in Uganda are either bribed by the dictator, either they are paid to give false information, but we are here to give you the right information. We are here to tell you exactly what is happening on ground. People are being murdered by the dictator and 
to him to finally they are selling them to extract the, their organs they are killing babies in hospitals they are cooking all sorts they are getting funny funny diseases because the imports in Chinese and South Koreans to cook diseases and kill innocent children children deserve to get uh, children deserve to live he kills the youth, he kills the old, he kills babies, he raps women, he kills everybody. Of recent, his son raps a musician. We shall say it. We are tired of a family which is a rapist, a family which is a man which murders people, a family which is never satisfied of nothing. Ugandans need to live in peace and harmony. We want to be, we just don't ask for much. We just ask you to tell the world the truth. We want you, CNN, not to sugarcoat what the dictator is doing on the ground. Tell the world the truth. The world should know about this dictator. Yes. We will come back until when you see, when you write the truth about Uganda, not to write sugar quoting what the dictator wants. The dictator is the murderer. The dictator is good for nothing. That's all. Just tell yes. the world. The world right. needs to know about what is happening in Uganda. They are human beings who don't demand salad, but just to have a normal life. They don't deserve to be killed. No. This man who is importing everybody from everywhere and killing nationals and bringing refugees to turn them into nationals, we don't understand them. Would you even rather grab shoulders with such a person? He comes here and tells you lies. And you keep on funding him, giving him billions and billions of American taxpayer, taxpayers' money. Got that right. Museven is the current hitter of today. Who is worse? We call upon Americans, wherever you are. If you hear my humble voice, please tell a friend to tell a friend. They should campaign and let the American government stop funding a dictator. America, Ugandans are dying for no reasons. America, we work so hard, we don't sleep. We deserve the little dollar we make, but not to pay our dollars, not to pay our dictators to sponsor genocide in poor countries like Uganda. Yes. We don't work to pay taxes to support dictators who are killing their own people. That's right. Americans wake up. America help us spread the message. Somebody needs to know. Somebody needs to tell somebody that Americans should stop funding dictators. Yes. They don't. The news don't deserve to be killed in Asian countries. But the family, the first family, all the Museveni's family, is the one in charge of exporting the Uganda news. And they sell organs. They are the number one leader in organ smuggling in the world. Mm. Uganda news are being killed every day. And the, the first family of Uganda is in charge. Is in charge of killing innocent Ugandans to sell their organs. Somebody should spread the message. Somebody should let somebody know. It's not able to. We are tired enough is enough. The 
Yes, they do. Thank you very much. 